The opinions expressed in the video you are about to see are solely those of Botest.com and its test captain. It's a scenario that repeats itself over and over again. The husband goes to a boat show and picks out a nice center console, but when he goes to show the wife, she looks at the boat and says, no place for me or the kids. Thanks to Hydra Sports, we have a nice entry-level family boat in the 2000 WA, a 20-foot walk around that's sure to please everyone in the family. I'm Captain Steve for BoatTest.com. Come on aboard and I'll show you what I mean. The Hydra Sports 2000 walk around has a length overall of 20 feet 11 inches and her beam is a trailerable 8 feet 6 inches. Before we get into the test numbers, it's good to note that there are 11 engine options for this boat, from 150 up to 250 horsepower. We tested her with 150 horsepower Yamaha 4-stroke, turning a 3-blade 17-inch stainless prop. These will give us good entry-level numbers for our test runs, which you can easily increase simply by moving up the options list for the engines. Well, since nobody's going to get this boat to just sit at the dock, why don't we start out by taking a look at the test numbers. Come on aboard, we'll go for a ride. With two people on board and half fuel, we tip the scales at 4,888 pounds. No problem for the Yamaha 150 that easily pushed us up to a top speed of 41.2 miles per hour. At that speed, she burned 16.5 gallons per hour and had a range of 235.7 miles. Pulled back to her best cruise at 4,000 RPMs, she showed a speed of 24.9 miles per hour, burning only 7.2 gallons per hour. With a 105 gallon tank topped off, that will translate into a range of 326.8 miles with a 10% reserve. She came up on plane in only 5.8 seconds and reached 30 miles per hour in 10.3 seconds. Now, let's go take a look at some of the features of this boat. Moving up to the forward section of the boat, I've got a nice roomy bow area. The walkway is a little bit narrow, but that's typical in a boat in the 8 foot 6 inch beam size. I like the bow rails on this boat. They're all one piece, so you won't find any riveted sections that's going to cause rust to drip down the sides here. I've got an anchor locker up in the bow, no overboard drain. Here in the cockpit we've got ample seating for six people and plenty of room. Let's take a look at some of the measurements we have in this spacious cockpit. We like to see the bolsters be at 25 inches. These start at 24 and go right on up to 30, so plenty of safety here. Across the deck we've got 79 inches, so we'll have plenty of room for moving around the boat too. And because it's a nice family friendly boat, we've got a nice 35 inches of freeboard here, very safe. Because there's always a concern when a boat starts shipping water, the mark of a quality boat is how it gets rid of all that water that comes aboard. On the Hydra Sports 2000 WA, we've got drains on both of the side decks and two in the cockpit that drain right overboard. Here at the helm, we've got a helm seat that moves forward and aft and swivels, but it doesn't go up and down. We've got a nicely laid out helm console, plenty of room for instrumentation, nice wheel, and I'm a big fan of the steering knob. And we've also got plenty of real estate for a nav package of your choice. Another thing I like to see in a helm, the two position steps. One for when you're leaning against the seat and another for when you're actually sitting in the seat. Highlighting the family versatility of the 2000 walk around, we've got one, two, three, four rod holders and under these two seats here, fish boxes. Underneath the starboard side seat here, we've got a lighted circulating bait well. The port seat has the batteries and they're very comfortable seats as well. I like the stainless steel grab handle right here. A classic Hydra Sports courtesy. This hatch right here in the aft of the cockpit, you open it up, gives you access to the pump room. The lid is gasketed with a gas assist shock, and because it's recessed inside here, they thoughtfully put in two overboard drains. Inside the pump room, I've got your bilge pump, the pump for the recirculating bait well, and your fuel filter. The cabin area is roomy enough to sleep too. There's a portable head, a sink over here. The sink is basically a static basin. It wouldn't hurt to put a faucet on there. The boat has an option for nine gallons of water. So as it turns out, Hydrosport did a good thing when they made the 2000 walk around. It's a very family friendly boat that's a lot of fun to operate. But don't take my word for it. You need to find out for yourself. Make an appointment with your Hydrosports dealer and check out the 2000 WA. For BoatTest.com, I'm Captain Steve. We'll see you out on the water.